Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings and today I would like to talk to you about a release from Beaumore. Beaumore is an Isla distillery on the shores of Loch Indal that was founded in 1779 making this one of the oldest uh, Scottish distilleries and certainly the oldest um, uh, still operational on the Isle of Isla. Now Beaumore nowadays is a property of uh, Beam Suntry which also owns Glengarry Ochentaschen, Lefroy and Ardmore, among many others. Uh, what we have here is a, a whiskey that matured 100% on bourbon casks. It is the Beaumore Small Batch, which is uh, bottled at the standard strength of 40% ABV. It has no age statement, it's simply called the Beaumore Small Batch. Um, basically, a no age statement, entry level malt. That's what I think this is uh, supposed to be looked at. Uh, as an entry-level malt, it is bottled at the minimum strength and it is very affordable in price as well and no age statement. So let's find out if this is any good. Got my glass here. Uh, one of the nicest things about Beaumore, if you ever go and visit it, is that the, 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 the whiskey matures partly in the what's called affectionately the whiskey vaults or the Beaumore vaults, which is in fact a warehouse which is below sea level. Uh, a rumor has it this is part of the maritime effect that uh, the, the spirit gets. I'm not really into that sort of thing. Um, but, well, it's part of the, of the charm of, uh, of the whiskey. So the Bomber Small Batch was first released in 2014. And like I said, 40% ABV and 100% matured on um, uh, bourbon casks. You can tell that from the color, which is a bright golden, on the nose. Well, it has a very malty nose, you can actually smell the grain, but then it turns fruity with some, some peach, some grapes, some stewed rhubarb actually, um, some, some apples, a touch of grapefruit as well, a bit citrusy. I get some gingerbread, you know, cinnamon. There's also honey, vanilla custard, so the peat, which uh, is, is rather discreet in Beaumore uh, by definition, um, certainly compared to some other uh, uh, Isla whiskies, Beaumore is not the peaty one, not at all. But there is peat in there, of course, but it is very discreet. And as Beaumore, for Beaumore standards, this is even, even more so discreet. It's very subdued. It's there, but you have to look for it. The emphasis here is clearly on the fruitiness uh, and the freshness of this malt. I find this very fresh and accessible indeed on the palate then. It's rather light. The smoke is there now, more prominent than on the nose and, and, and growing quickly. Yes, now, yeah, this is a peaty malt. Not overly peaty again, discreet, but it is clearly an Isla malt. Beaumore, very lovely, but it grows quickly. It's very fruity again. Uh, it, 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 it turns even slightly tropical, you know, there's a, a slice of pineapple in there, uh, some yellow fruit, um, definitely some grapefruit and other citrusy fruits, but also a touch of oak, uh, giving, it, giving it loads of vanilla and, and a little spiciness. Uh, it, it's got a lovely salty edge, so it is a maritime malt, that's for sure. Lovely salty edge, must be from the vault beneath uh, sea level. Uh, but it's mostly, it's mostly tropically sweet, in my opinion. On the finish then. On the finish. Uh, it's again, smoke is there, citrusy notes, and something minty. And that's nice, fresh, refreshing, but the finish is rather short. So having said that, this kind of confirms my, my suspicion that this Beaumore is, uh, is going to be very well liked. It's, a, it's, it's everybody's friend, you know, everybody's going to like this. Whether you are an aficionado of Beaumore or an aficionado of Island Malts in general, you're going to like this. This is very accessible, very fresh. It's not, it's not complex, it's not complicated to enjoy this. This is what we call a card player's whiskey. Definitely an entry level malt. And if you're not an Isla whiskey lover yet, or you're new to whiskies in general, then this might be a, a nice and careful introduction to a PT whiskey. But like I said, a card player's whiskey, very accessible and also very friendly priced. So what's not to like? This Bamor is a, a one of my go-to Bamors, 
very easy, very accessible, very drinkable, quaffable, enjoy it with friends, that's what it's all about. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. Until then, may the malt be with you. <laughs>